Hello guys and welcome back into Fears to Fathom, this time Iron Bark Lookout. This is the last one that has been released. I know the other one has already been teased, so we'll be getting another one here in the near future, but this is the last one that's currently released. Super excited for this one. It looks like a completely different setting, almost like a Firewatch. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right in. Another thing, I tried to mess with my mic a little bit to try to get the mic to work during those sections. There's nothing in-game. So I went into my computer settings and tried to, you know, set the default to something else and then back to my mic and hopefully it works. If not, I don't know how to fix that. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's go. Here we go. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play fears to fathom Carson house what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time it feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying as I'm writing this this was the scariest experience of my life I'm Jack Nelson, had a small time job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. The one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two-hour drive. Alright. Oh, I'm in my RV. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know, uh... The driving mechanic is back. Texting and driving again. Don't do that. Uh, okay, guys. So you'll probably see me by the gate. He just show you him your ID. Did you pass Rosenberg yet? No, why? Oh. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped because I'm a good driver. I did stop in the middle of the road. So, nobody behind me is thinking I'm a good driver. I lived a very solitary life. I don't know if there was more reading at the bottom or not. It was quiet. It helped quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Hello. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Well, I'd hope so if this is your job. Because if it gave you uh, torture, then, uh, then that'd be a stupid job to take. But that being said, I mean, I'm sure that's what this story is about to tell you. The torture. All right, let's pull over to the side of the road like good people. Alright. Um, you have to try them out. Okay, wait. I remember there's this diner while passing Rosenberg. Uh, Roseborg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before the uh, staffing starts. Thanks. There we go. I didn't go up and read the rest of the uh, text messages. I mean, I guess I probably could have. Maybe I'll do that at the diner if we go there. My jam. Whoa. There was a glitch in the matrix. There's the diner. I liked it when they said something earlier, or, uh, in the other game where they were like, I'm not a very good driver. Just 
trying to park my this here RV. There we go. Alright. How, how did I park? Alright. It's an RV, so there's no way I didn't take up both spots. That's okay, I needed the space. Order recount that dates it. Oh, not bad. I mean, I did take up two spots, but what do they want from me? I have an RV. All right. Let's see what this guy wants. Well, he doesn't want anything, but let's see what he's doing. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Just new, you new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Alright, you enjoy slobbering all over that burger, the fuck? Alright, let's run for it. In we go. Are we sure that this place is normal? Hmm? There. Please leave me alone. Alright, thanks. Why don't you open your eyes for once? Hey, there you go. You figured it out. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Don't get stuck on that uh, chair again. Uh, isn't it pretty quiet in here? Yeah, it's been like that for a while now. Ever since the highway bypassed this town, things have been pretty slow. That's a shame. It seems like a nice place. It used to be, but times change, I suppose. It's over there! Thank you! Did she point outside? Yeah, go take a piss on the street. How's the food? He just stared at me. I'm gonna ask him again. You mind if I join you? Well, that one is weird. You did not point. Can I go back here? No. All right, taking a shit. This is I spilled. This is in my restroom, you know. I didn't even wash my hands. Just like, yeah, I'll just dry them. Alright, let's go. Wash your hands. There we go. Now dry them. Alright. Alright, I will sit... In the, well, no, I don't want to sit in the back corner with my back to everybody. I want to be looking out. Food, hot food, drinks. Come on, lady. I don't have all night. I have a job to go to. At least you're not stuck on something. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so what can I get for you? I didn't even look at a menu, but okay. What about a drink? Can I get one of those, uh, swigs? Uh, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Ooh. Cheeseburger with fries, though. Hmm, I'll take a large Coke. Perfect, anything else? Uh, that will be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm. Um, 
this is a weird place where they bring out your drink and your food at the same time, because what if I'm thirsty now? Oh, there's, there is zero chance that hamburger is fresh. Zero. You came out here two seconds after I ordered. Zero chance. What is this, a McDonald's? Are you just gonna stand there and watch me eat? Like some sort of creepoid? Yeah, yeah. Walk away, please. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna eat all the fries at once. Like a burger. One second, Kayla. I didn't eat any of my sauces. Where are you going? Watch out for the piss in there. Uh, Kayla. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. No way. Oh, hey! Yeah, it was good. Uh, would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right with you. All right, now let me read my text message. Told you, hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Oh, wow, yes! I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Okay, I saw you this time, lady. Here's the check. Your total is $6. 50% tip on the house, babe. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, no problem. I did it for the trophy. I didn't know there was a trophy attached to it, but I did it for the trophy. Um. Please take a seat and I'll be with you. Uh. You can't just, you can't just do the backwards pointy thing, right? You can't just do the backwards pointy thing. Because, you know, you're supposed to do that when I first walk in, but she was stuck. So I, I, I was talking to her on the other side. Instead of, uh. So she was pointing outside, and this time she was pointing out the window. She keeps wanting me to take a piss outside. Probably not what she was going for. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? Just down the road. You look a little lost. Just passing through. So where are you headed? I just started my new job at the nearby state park. And that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial anal uh, analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I uh, I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Sounds good. What about you, sir? Are you done, or are you still miming the food into your mouth? Lady. This guy's weird. What is this? Ice cream machine? Listen, there is nobody in this establishment that's normal. You're definitely not normal. Enjoy your 50% tip. Just the tip. Alright. Sir, I ate my burger and fries, and you're still out here slurping on yours. Get it together. Oh. Well. Maya. The RV, the door was open and the, that was on. Alright. The bathroom was strangely jammed. Alright, it is your RV. Alright. Alright, is there someone in this bathroom? Hello? No. Alright. I did leave the door open, so it's kind of on me. 
Oh, they're saying it wasn't on, but the radio was definitely on. All right. Let's go. To the state park we go. Eight oh two PM. I definitely wouldn't want to watch the forest at night. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. I didn't read the first part. I'm sure you guys read it. I didn't see it. Still training strangely jam. What's that sound? I'm assuming this is it. Hey! I will fucking destroy you if you ever do that to me again. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see you permit, uh, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. The, I'm the new uh, transferred fire lookup. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. I will. This guy wants... This one guy wants to go fucking downtown and fucking beat his fucking ass. God damn it. What? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are the keys. May I ask you what you're saying about it? Uh, let me open the trail gate for you. Oh, do I have to drive? Whoa! Hey, look, sir. Sir, are you a ghost? Alright, I have to drive down there, I'm assuming. One second, you dumb bitch. This guy, this guy out here trying to catch these hands is what he's doing. What's this guy doing? Uh, since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for. Thank you, Billy. Uh, be careful. Take the flashlight. I took. Are you? Were you? Uh, welcome to Iron Bank. Okay. Can I go through here? I remember Mitch said I was going to be on the foot from here. Oh. Uh, now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from here system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. Uh, he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Alright, what do I- oh. Oh. Uh, hello? Hey! 
Just a piece of advice, don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. You got it. Bobcats and bears. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Alright. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Alright, shut that. Look after my RV. Please. I don't know. I I was going from foot from here, and like I thought I had to take the RV. So, like, I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh. Um, and, uh, he was just talking about driving the RV. He's having normal conversations with me. Bro, you just walk through everything. I don't trust you at all. Where's your bag at? Oh. I would say watch my RV or, or don't hurt it, but you walk right through the RV, so it's all good. This flashlight's not as good as the flashlight in Carson House. Even though the flashlight in Carson House, I kind of, uh... Lost it. 11.32 p.m. Alright, Tower 11. We almost there. One five five nine two five hundred. You would think they would give you something to drive back here, like, oh, you're by foot. Give me a golf cart at least, so I can wee through the forest. Mm -hmm. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I'd be fine if I could stream from here, you know? Stream, do YouTube, watch sports. I'd be good to go. But if I had to sit out here under my, with my own thoughts, no. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. That's why you're Firewatch. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Oh, you got a kitchen. Dad, I'd feel much safer if this was like an elevator. Like you had to like have a key to turn on an elevator and the elevator brought you up and then went back down. And then nobody could get up here. Without taking the elevator up. Because these stairs to the top, no bueno. Finder Finder is like a giant compass size of a pizza. Alright. That's... We used it to spot the fire on the map. Okay. Well, let's do this. Forgot to turn the generator on first. Oh. Where's the generator at? Alright, the generator's probably outside. Alright, don't you guys bother me. Nobody bother me, no people. No animals. No nothing. Alright. Be in there. lock the absolute fuck out of it. Alright. We're gonna put the... We're gonna put... Oops. Let's put the light there. Because this... The the last time I just completely lost where the... It was just like, we're not gonna tell you where your flashlight is. It's just gone forever. It could have been the yard or the, like, the driveway. Alright. Mouse detected. Cool. Initializing... Starting Rainbow 98. Ah, Rainbow 98. Check the Iron Bank Rules Flyer. Uh, 
Where the fuck are the rules, Flyer? Um, this is the password is Iron Bark. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Thanks. Uh, ready to wield some digital magic with console? Type help to get the command list. Right. You bitch. What is it? Oh, is that an H? C H H U P D. Oh, no, that was right. No system update available. C H K B E R. Current package version. Okay. Update. X. <laughs> Exist. Alright. Like. Oh. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for that. Oh, God. I am just an awful shot. It's the head sway. It gets me every time. I'm not adjusting to the head sway. That time I just got screwed. This guy is unkillable because I am the worst shot of all time. There we go. I am thy best zombie killer. Roar! Can I see? All I need is internet and the ability to stream this, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> so I can call myself a terrible shot. Live. Come on. Why is this the circus music in metal? Oh, I like this. How did I miss? There's like 47. There's like 40 options. Wow. 
There we go. Let's go. Oh god. I'm embarrassing myself again. This is worse than the flag game in Carson House. Oh god. Okay. Run. Run, I can't shoot. I can only hope to contain them. Go, 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 go. Bro can't handle me. Oh god, I just get a loop. I have no clue what I'm doing. Everything has escaped me. <laughs> and health. I'm just gonna make a run for it. I don't even care anymore. Oh, health. 16 health now, motherfucker. Oh, well. Uh... Welcome to the State of the Art Service Reporting Software Develop. Yes? Yo, guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. So you're going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Thank you, I suppose. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh. Jack. Anyway. That's looking for a change. I'm tra I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Uh, no. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Hey. Okay. Uh. Okay, the map. Okay, smiley bitch. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. What? There is no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. What happened to her, Connor? Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. I had to report. I had to report. What am I reporting, though? Alright, let's look in the shack. There is firewood. I'm just an asshole. Cast the matches up top. I had nothing to report though. It's like, oh, report the temperature. I don't fucking know. 
Turn on the news. How about that? It has to be 12 there, right? Needed gasoline? This seems like a dangerous idea. Here. Oh. Um. Well, this is awkward. All right. There we go. It's all good. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. I, I, none of that gasoline touched the wood. I'm just gonna point that out. Nice to see Tower Eleven alive again. Hey, no problem. Did you report for the night yet? No, I don't know what temperature is. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me uh, get to it. Required. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. I don't give a fuck about Mitch. Mitch can fuck off. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood still. Fuck off. You already said you just saw it. Alright. Service reporting. Alright. Welcome to the state of the art. Alright. <laughs> temperature is... We're gonna leave that temperature. Reported by... Uh, Travis. That's not my name, but... Uh, zero, because I just got here. Something didn't look right. Uh... Fine. Your name is... Connor, or something like that. What's his name? <laughs> his name is, uh... I forgot his name. I don't see the smoke. His Did name's Connor. Wood stove should be around the entrance. It's Jack. Jack Jones or something. Jack Nelson. Jack Nelson. Fine. Fine. Fifty-eight degrees with ten. Uh, I don't know what the way training. Let's Welcome go. to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say, Congratulations! Thanks. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art Lookout Towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Oh. Make sure to know what color the smoke is, it may be crucial information. Gotcha. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. Mm -hmm. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. That's fair. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Anemometer. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. 
Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Gotcha. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Don't hesitate. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Sounds good. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And is remember, that my tower? Is that what my tower looks like? If you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. You got it. All right. Uh, plant interview? And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Sir, Whoa. sir, there's no need for that language. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? The Get fuck? over here, you piece of shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. All right, what about uh, Ro Ross? Hi, oh. everyone. I'm Ron Ross. And Ron I'm here Ross. To paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Oh. It reminds me of my wife. I oh. love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my home needle. I'll save that for later. Oh. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. Oh! You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Uh-huh. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay. Thanks, Ron Ross. You're the best. That Barbie dream house, though. Um, yeah, weird. Um, the last person that was here was a weirdo. All right, let's see what's in the recycling bin, shall we? Is it open? Fine. I really wanted to see if they were... Doing something with the all right. So there should be equipment around here. Whoops. So there should be equipment around here to help with the thing. This. This is the wind.
18. And then the temperature is 45, 44, somewhere there. The fuck do you want? It's clear. Sure. Eighteen, forty-four degrees. Unless I have to take it outside. The temperature was forty-six point four. Well, you didn't tell me I had to click on it. That's also not what that says. It's below forty-five on the thing. All right, James Garcia. Hey, copy, new guy. Uh, tower eleven, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. All right. Tower twelve, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't want okay. the bed bugs bite. Uh, good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Over and out. How about your rubber duck? Put the light here and go to bed. Time, time to sleep. Three twenty-six a.m. We didn't get much sleep. Unintelligible. Uh, y y yes. Honor? I had to pee. All right. What were you that? Also, you moved my my light. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. The feeling that... Oh. Oh, okay. You got it, boss. E. Wee! <laughs> now this is a mini game I live for. Alright, we get back. Alright. Peed into the woods. What's that? What are we doing? Are we going there? Well, I don't think so because we are stuck up here. When let me go down the stairs, I tried. Yeah. Okay. But we are in here. You had to be on the right part of the bed to, to get it to work. Night? Alright, it's just you and the wind, and the time just melt away. Take a photo. photo 
I don't know if I'm, what I was supposed to take a photo of. Probably not that, but I took a photo of it anyway. Get off. It's a wild button to have. Now, why don't you go ahead and get off? You copy? Uh, okay. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? One second, Connor. I'm Jack. I almost took your identity earlier because I thought I was Connor. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Uh, excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days. Uh, let me have a look. One second, I'm sure it's normal. Uh, smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. I need you to confirm. Yes, Connor. Do you see that smoke up north? Connor! I bet you fuck off. Gunner. Hey, Gunner, I see it. Spot that white smoke yes, I see it. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector. It is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh. Yes, do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a or any potential hazards along the way. All right. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. I'm gonna carry the fuck out of this bear spray. Here, put your put your hot uh, chocolate down. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna carry my bear spray. Alright, that's really far away. Am I really the nearest tower? Okay. On my way, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. It's all good. This is why they pay me the big bucks. I was on the wrong trail. Oh. They pay me the big bucks to be on the wrong trail. Caution! Eh, bear in the area. Oh, okay. We're gonna teleport. I thought we'd have to walk all the way there. I think this is intense. 8.37 p.m. I'm walking all the way there at night? Bruh. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. camping. I love Jen. Hello? Uh, Jack, are you okay? Help. View from my tower, and thanks for the recipe. I might try it tonight. What? 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 What does that have to do with anything? I don't... I think my sector has been very good service. Oh, okay. There's go I said about this is the nearest tower. Guess it is. Emergency closure. Uh 
Um. Hello? I'll spray you with bear spray. I had to put it out. My hands were full. Bear spray back. Am I just going back now? All right, I'm heading back. Or it's going to tell me something I need to do that I haven't done yet. Nine oh seven p.m. There was someone behind me. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. You mean because he screamed? It's usually a good sign. Spraying the bear spray at things. Okay. All right. Put this down. Report to Connor about the fakey campsite. Yeah, but there was screaming. We just gonna ignore the screaming? Uh, Connor, do you copy? Tower twelve, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Hot what? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Okay, let's calm down. What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. That scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Um... What happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Hmm. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Hmm, that's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying. Busy. I can't say absolutely not. I gotta contact the authorities. You never know. Take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. All right. So. Forty-six point one. Okay. 
Yes, Kayla. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Ooh. Pizza pasta bait. Mmm. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom hee hee. Looking at the potato makes me my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, it wasn't delivered. Because we're fucked. Sure, there's nothing out here. I just don't feel like, look how many windows are on this thing. There's no privacy here. Somebody walks up. It's... Number of hikers assisted today? One, I think? At this point, I was starving. Alright. So, uh, at this point, okay, I didn't read the second part. At this point, I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Alright, so we have to get uncooked pasta. Uh, marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Mary, Mary, Mary. Only you can prevent forest fires. Oh, here's a fridge. Oh, oh pepperoni. Here we go. There we go. Uh, this, I don't think this is involved. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. So, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, we need marinara sauce, Mary Airy sauce. Nice. And pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Is there any diced tomatoes in here? Or is it like fresh diced tomatoes? And where'd you get all this? Diced tomatoes. Nice. We'll put this here in the oven. Nice. Can we put this? Can we put it back. Can we put it back in. No. Okay. Hey guys, you there? Uh. You guys, you copy? I mean, you waited like half a second. Uh, one second, sir. I'm putting the food back in. I don't want the. I don't, oh. I don't want the, uh, I don't want the Hamburg to go bad in this video game. There we go. Oh. Fuck! What is it? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What did they say? Uh, that's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Oh. 
Oh. I liked eating in bed. The entire fucking pan? Bro. Fucking pig. Alright, this... Uh, we're, we're, we're holding the pan straight out of the oven. I mean, it looks good. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we're eating an entire pan. Like, this isn't even like a small... A small pan. This is a gigantic casserole pan. This guy has a bigger appetite than the guy from Home Alone. Mmm. That was already full. Well, yeah, you ate a half a casserole pan. Here, can I put this in the, uh... Uh, I guess I'm thirsty. <laughs> I was getting cold. Thought I'd get wood, uh, oh, the wood stove. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's go. I'm sure everything will be okay. I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, me no speaky. If I survived to the next, if I heard that and survived to the next day, I'd be quitting. Like, All right, peace out. Thanks for having me here in your humble abode. All right, just pour some, uh, pour some gasoline on top of the stove here. There we go. It'll be all good. It'll correct itself when I sleep. Alright, bear sprays there, and I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Close the boards? You said you always did this, but we literally didn't do this the night before. So don't give me that always bullshit, you're a fucking liar. And we don't take kindly as liars around here. It's the boards. I don't even know what that means. This is... I don't even know what that means! We definitely didn't do this the night before. Like I said, this makes you, this makes you a liar. It makes you safe for sure, but it definitely makes you a liar. I ask why there's like, oh, it's probably because of this. Can't close. I was like, can I ask why there's like two windows that kind of defeats the purpose? Because if somebody knows, I could just walk around, and just stare right in. All right, let's go. All these chores. 2.27 a.m. I'm not getting much sleep here. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Oh. Oh. There was something very strange about that night. How strange is strange. He 
he was only there for half a second. Uh-uh. 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 Daddy don't want any. No, I'm not going out there. Fuck that, I'm going back to sleep. Hide. Hide, 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 hide. It seems that my, my mic thing's still not working. I tried my hardest, but it, it's not working. And this is a terrible feeling, too, because you're out here by yourself. This isn't like Carson House where you or Home Alone where you can run out the street and run to a neighbor or, you know, the police are on their way or something like this. Like, this is real. This is real creepy hours. I felt a presence outside. Am I opening the door? Alright, at least we know we can sleep under the... Or we can get under the bed. I didn't know what to make of, of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Yeah, I tried to do that even before I opened the door. Hey, there's a guy in cult clothes outside. You mind if you uh, come on uh, over here and help? Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. You couldn't wait until morning? Mention the skull. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This seems... This feels like a re some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what Isn't... we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Wouldn't that be a good... Wouldn't that be a good place to hold a ritual in the middle of nowhere? Connor? Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Oh. I'm going to sleep, I guess. I wouldn't be getting much sleep in that under those conditions. Night 3. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in, in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Uh... I uh, occupied most of the days with either a simple maintenance in and around the tower. Or by scanning the uh, densities of trees all around me. These also these binoculars also suck. My paranoia for the, paranoia for those woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant. Oh, that's what they want from me. Okay. What the fuck happened? God damn it. What the fuck happened to him? Keep fucking that up. Alright. Oh! SOS? Alright, I gotta talk to Connor. No way in fucking hell I'm just running over there. Oh. I 
ran by my door. No, it, oh yeah, I did. I went the wrong way. Okay. Bye. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Um. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Uh, can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might Thank you, sir, for, come yet. for explaining what the woods look like. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarkings? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trail. Okay, let me scan the map. Maybe it is on... There we go. Where are you at again? Uh, the road's here... intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the... Okay, trail intersection. Alright. Right here. Uh, trail intersection. It depends. It depends, I guess. Like, is he coming... Is he coming this way? He was going east. I'm at a trail intersection now, but... I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Left? <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Uh, hello? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. All this hour? May the Lord have mercy. At this hour. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. You're gonna ask me why I'm well, why I'm crouching? And I have a question for you. Why are your hands going through the box? You, do you not know your own strength? Uh, okay. Thank you for the supplies. Uh, what were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. Uh, I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. 
Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. But anyway, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watching. Thanks for the supplies. Okay. Okay. Uh, who was murdered? Was that guy murdered? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Alright. We have leftover lasagna. And there's no way this food is still good. Bastard. All right. Scorching hot. All right. Eating the rest of my pizza casserole. It is so good. Maybe I should offer it to this cultist. You want some pizza? Okay. There. Go get myself. Oh, I need my flashlight. At a time like this, now is now's not the time to walk out without my flashlight. I had to report for the night before preparing for sleep. Oh, I forgot. Uh, 58.7. Right, oh yeah, I forgot. I have to do both first. 58.7, or it erases it, so there's no point in doing it one at a time. Uh, 27. That's enough to call it windy, right? Eight point seven and 27. Let's call it windy. A little windy. I helped one hiker, but I think he's dead. I was so helpful, I even guessed correctly, you know. It's not even that cold. 50, 50, you know. Almost 60 degrees after it's been 40. That's not terrible. Okay. Hey, 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 now. Hey, 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 now. That's how you get wood upside the head. Pause. You just give me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. I thought I'd say hi. The new guy uh, everyone's been talking about. Uh, it sounds like you were coming on to me. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Uh, we must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. 
Uh, I should head back to the tower then. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. Well, remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. I'm not even that curious. I'm literally just trying to do my job. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Oops, I have to... I have to spray it to gasoline. Uh, never have too much gasoline here, you know. Out here, keep this thing running for days. Hey, okay, not there. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Yes. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? Fuck off. I'll call him after I shut the blinds, so then I don't have to worry about it later. These blinds being open are so inconvenient, though. It, it completely negates the point, although I guess my bed's around the corner and it's kind of hard to peek in, especially at night, but... This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Ran into some radio tower tower worker. Ran into who? The guy m maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> it's just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Okay. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Not only that, I've done everything else too. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Alright. Console. Help. Uh. The age. All 
frames and it does an unknown update frame bug. Install a system update. Okay. Update. Uh, please enter the package code. Patch code is 4346084. Package found. Looking for service lines. There we go. Please enter the active line. Active. And active level. Uh, uh, five nine. Eight seven. Uh, five four. One six. Uh, five four eight seven. Of course. It's all green. Your system is now up to date. Is this normal? Give me my flashlight. Um, I'll spray you with bear spray. No hesitation. No hesitation, motherfucker. You get. These games give you like that uneasy feeling. They really get they really get the uneasy feeling pumping, right? Because you don't know what's gonna happen next. One's gonna be around every corner. It's it's raining hard. This will be the time you want to do cult activities. take my bear spray. Be lucky. If you're lucky I can't take my bear spray. I would have sprayed the fuck out of you, bro. No mercy. With a flashlight and a gas can in my hand. That's impressive. You know, I'm going to let you hit the toilet this time. That's how impressive that is. Yeah, I'm still mad about the mic not working. I don't know what to do. Like I said, I tried to... Change it. Oh, you can see through the door. I'm like, oh, it's the door. All right. Okay, it's gonna fade out. I was gonna, I was gonna one week later. I was going to uh, go get the firewood early. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Two thirty-four a.m. We got another one. Another one what? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Hi. Jack, you copy? What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look, motherfucker.
All right. You act like you've you've been doing stuff up to this point. You've done nothing. A fucking flashlight. Um, let me get the binoculars. I can see them from here. Fucking fire. I mean, it is in my sector. This one I understand. The other one was like all the way over there. How can how can I cover this much area? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Uh. Didn't feel safe going downstairs. Flash, 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 flash. Hey, 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 hey. Oh god, I closed myself out. Under the bed, 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 under the bed. Turn the light off. He walked that way. I don't want to hear that bullshit. He's still here. The only thing I can think of is you can go into that porta potty and hide. Okay. Oh, God. Oh god. You see what had happened was... I didn't sneak hard enough. Not enough sneaking. Let's try this again. Okay, let's watch him. Let's watch him, uh, you know, waddle his way over. Because for some reason, we're, we're not fighting for our life. And we're gonna watch him. Alright. Okay.
Hi. Get on out of here because I got things to do. The mic thing's not working. It's just decoration for me. I keep trying, cult man. I keep trying. wasn't sprinting. Oh my god, I was hitting space bar. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. My god. I don't want any. out of here I'm taking a shit okay you guys ready that was not the time for psycho music But you're gonna hit me with it, huh? Hopefully I'm running in the right direction. I'm sure it would stop me. Oh. Oh, you must have moved my, uh... Uh, go! Go! Why, why do you stare for so long? Oh my god, that was so fucking nerve-wracking. An adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all got a little stir-crazy out there, Mitch answered. I have a picture! Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking for fires, Mitch offered. I'm quitting. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Yeah, no. Yucks. Stick to looking for fires. How about you go fuck yourself? How about that? Um, Mitch? Holy shit. That chase was an adrenaline rush, like he said. Oh my god. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. And this is why I don't like camping. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Oh. You know, um, this is a little bit more, I don't know, fetch quest is not the term I would use, because it's not fetch quest, but it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta, it's a lot of repetition, you know, go get the wood, go do this, shut the blinds, make your food, blah blah blah, and so there's a lot more going on in this game that drug it out a little longer, but be, it doesn't matter. This one was really good, uh, it, it really gets, you, you know, these games do a really good job of getting the adrenaline going and and stuff like that a good job doing that i mean more than a lot of games that that i play in terms of that because there's always someone chasing you you have to hide a certain way and if you don't do it right they get you you gotta do it over again luckily in these longer ones you can start from like pretty much 
the end. I remember in Home Alone, if you died, you had to do the whole thing over again. That one didn't take very long, if you know what you're doing, but I, I do enjoy that feature, you know, because if you get caught, you don't have to play two more hours just to get back to that, so that's really cool. I liked that, but yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. I can't wait to see what the next one is. It may have been named, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, but great series, great games, and I can't wait for the next one, which is supposed to be the end of the season. But let me know what you thought of Iron Bark Lookout in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.